Hey, what's up, everybody? This is um my channel, My Twisted Life. My name is Poetry. I want to thank you for coming back uh, today. I'm going to give you a little TV show review. And let me start off first with this disclaimer. I normally don't do TV reviews, but <laughs> if, in fact, there's a TV episode that really gets to me, that really touches my soul and my heart, you may hear me come on here and talk about it, like The Walking Dead. The season premiere, episode one of season seven has been resonating with me so deeply I know it came on Sunday and this is now Wednesday but OMG I gotta get this off my chest get it off my heart Lord have mercy Lord have mercy anyway let me first start off by saying um I didn't even want to watch The Walking Dead my daughter talked me into watching The Walking Dead I was so against it because I don't like horror and I'm really not into zombies. But then she got me to watch World War Z. And I was like, okay, that was cool as shit. And she was like, if you like World War Z, you'll like The Walking Dead. So last summer, 2015, I started binge watching The Walking Dead. <sighs> yes, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. There was a few things I had issue with. Like why there was not that many black people in this show. And they in Atlanta. But I quickly got over that. Because, you know, they got some strong pop black people in the episode now and it's a little more diverse as the seasons went along so I'm cool with that um it's not horror it's more gore and I can deal with gore because like that's how she sold me on it she was like yeah if you like Conan the Destroyer and you like Spartacus and 300 you gonna like the gore on The Walking Dead she was damn sure right as you can see I'm a fan of the show I got my t-shirt on today baby that's Daryl. That's Daryl. Right there. Fucking up Pikachu. As he should do. Yes, he should. But, so, this is not your typical review. I don't um, do reaction videos. Because, one, I don't have cable. So, I don't watch TV shows when everybody else does. I usually catch them online. So, you probably, if I do a reaction video, it's going to be the day after. I try to stay off social media. Anytime there's a show on that's this hot. Because I know everybody's going to be talking about it. Facebook and Twitter were lit up. Lit up. And I knew of one situation that was going to happen on the show before I watched it. And I was pissed off that I had accidentally stumbled across there because I was just scrolling through my timeline. And there was the rest in peace. I was so pissed off. But when it happened on the show, baby, it still hit me like a ton of bricks, baby. It hit me like a ton of bricks. No, I have never read the book. So, no, I didn't know what was going on. Um, I knew that something was going to happen only because of the way the season six ended. So I give my characters names other than the names that they are on the show sometimes. Um, so let's just say like, um, if you ever watched Grey's Anatomy, you know who Denny Duquette was and who plays Denny Duquette, which is Jeffrey D. Morgan. So he's the one that's playing his character Negan on the show. So season seven's episode one started off um, with Negan have already captured the main crew, Rick, or Rosita, uh, Abraham, Eugene, Michonne, Carl, I think Aaron was the other guy's name. I really didn't get too familiar with him as a character. I always forgot his name. I kept calling him somebody else. And Daryl. They're all captured by Negan right now. Carl and Morgan are off heading towards Kingdom City. Tara and Dr. Dre. I can't think of what his name is on the show. But he was Dr. Dre and straight out of Compton. So Tara and Dr. Dre um, are still off in Wonder Wonderland. And um, yeah. So Negan has them and he is... Um, Basically, finna tell them he's about to f one of them up. So that's where the show starts off. And but when you when it starts, you already see the blood on Rick's face. So it already happened. So I'm like, oh my god, who the hell is this? We already had speculations on who was gonna be at the end of the show because there was like blood and guts just laying there on the ground, and there was Daryl's blanket laying next to it. My Daryl. <sighs> the pressure. Do you know how long I have waited for this season to see what the hell happened? And if there was Daryl, if he hit him upside the head or what the hell happened? Why was Daryl like laying on the ground? Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. So anyway, so it starts off and um, he's talking to Rick and he's telling Rick, like, um, 
Look, you you know better. You you know you already know what the deal is. You know you need to get your shit together. Do what the hell I say do. Or I'm killing one of your people. I'm killing, taking out one of them just as a freebie. I'm just letting you know one I'm going. One I'm going right now, man. So as the show goes, he drags um he he going on he he drags Rick off. So it's kind of flashed back and back and forth to current day to what had happened the night before of who actually got killed. So he drags Rick off and he takes Rick's act. Um, he drags Rick off because Rick is telling him, you know, you know, I'm going to kill your ass. may not be today, may not be tomorrow, but I'm going to take you the hell out. That's what Rick tell him. And he's like, who the fuck do you think you're talking to? Like, dude, do you know who the hell I am? I am Negan. I am Denny Duquette from Grey's Anatomy. You better recognize who the hell I be. And um, so he takes Rick and he drags Rick off in, his, in the camper and um, basically punking Rick out. He challenged him like, you going to do something, do something. You know, break bad on me. And uh, he put the little axe down next to Rick and he dared him. He said, your best bet is to pick the axe up and hit me in the back of the head. That's your best bet. Rick tried it. Why Rick try him? Why Rick try him? He know doggone well the nigga is. He got something on him. Maybe he pulled out that gun on him. Like what? Do something. I dare you. Well, you better check yourself, fool. Phone check on me like he's in jail. Phone check on me. I got you. So he drags Rick off and then um, it flashes back. Back to the scene where all of them are bound to the ground. And nigga is sitting there doing any, many, mighty mo, Trying to figure out who he finna take out. Any, many, many, more. So he going through that whole scene. And then like keep flashing back and back and forth between him and Negan where Negan is out here and he Negan is trying to punk him and really try to break his spirit. It's pretty much what he's doing. He like throw the axe out the dog on Camper and tell Rick that he need to go out there and get it. And it ain't nothing but walkers outside. He need to go out there and get it. And um Rick look, looking at him like got me fucked up. Why can't he go out there? But he like hey, if you go you gonna go. It wasn't either or. You gonna go and you gonna go now. You better get my axe right now. This axe is now mine. That's basically what he told him. So, um, he pretty much shoves Rick out the door with the, with the walkers, baby. So Rick out here fighting the walkers, but while he going through all this, all these emotions and stuff, like I said, they flash back him. So just let you know, they gonna keep flash back into Rick and what he got going on at the camper. But in the meantime, when Negan finally picked who he was gonna kill. He stopped Lucille, which is his back that is wrapped with barbed wire. Stopped it at my boy. And he said, you can go and cry. Go and shed a tear. Scream if you want to. My boy sitting there like, fuck you. That's the look he had on his face. That's the look he had on his face. And Negan like, eh, you ain't gonna do you ain't gonna cry. You, you gonna do it. I'm giving you permission. You gonna cry. Took Lucille's head back out. Boom. Right on the top of his split his motherfucking dome. Split his dome, baby. I'm trying not to say names too much, because in this case you haven't watched the show, if you're behind like me, or you don't watch it on cable, and you just not seeing any spoiler, but if you've seen it, you know who the hell I'm talking about. So, yeah, he hit him upside his dome, and he's swaying and bombing. I'm already let you know it's a he. And he's bombing and all this, that, and other. And my boy said, suck my nuts. He went to like that old Beyonce lemonade. Suck my balls, balls. He was all like that. Suck my nuts. <laughs> but Nigga was like, Did this motherfucker just say suck my nuts. He off the chain with it. He comical with it. So, yeah. So, Nigga like, okay, suck my nuts, you know. But how? He just fluttering to him. I mean, just boom, brain and guts and all that. Just everywhere. Just everywhere. It was uh, AMC. Y'all did the damn thing with those visuals, baby. It looked so doggone real. And I'm sitting here like, I can't watch this. I can't watch this. I'm texting my daughter and everything because that could get Oh, excuse me. Again, I'm watching the next day. So, let me see the te text message I sent her. And she was making fun of me because I was like, mm -mm, I can't watch this. So, after that first one, 
What did I say? What are we talking about? What are we talking about? What are we talking about? Okay. She was like, grab your tissue. Grab your tissue. I was like, oh, I don't need no tissue. I'm like, oh, you know, they hit me in my heart, but I don't need no tissue. She was like, just keep watching and grab your tissue. I'm like, okay. So, um, while they was out, you know, Rick was going through some some emotions and some things that was going on. And they going back and forth to this trailer. And they flip back and uh Negan wanted t Rosita to take a look at the bat. They had all Andrews I don't say his name, but anyway, then they had all his blood and guts all over Lucia. It, not his guts, his brains all on Lucia. And she wouldn't look. She was like in a state of fucking shock. I don't care what he said to her, she would not look at that bat. And so he was like, you know, threatening her. Why my boy Daryl jumped up at nigga, popped his ass in the face, baby, popped his ass good. They had to, they had to grab him up. They all snatched him up and everything. And um, so that's how Daryl's blanket ended up on the ground. Thank you, Jesus. That's how his blanket ended up on the ground. So he punched him in the face. He punched him in the face. And um, he punched him one good time. And niggas, people grabbed him. Then the white old bitch ass gonna roll up with Daryl's bowl. Like, you want me to shoot him? You want me to get him? And nigga like, no, 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 you can't, you don't touch that. Not until you taste a little or you get a little. What the fuck he mean by that? But they gonna try to get Daryl's booty or something? Is that what the what was they implying? Not until you get a little of it. What the fuck you mean by that? Anywho, so they didn't fuck with Daryl at the time. But Negan was like, no, don't kill him. But you know what? Y'all motherfuckers take me for a fool. I don't know who the hell y'all been dealing with. I don't lie about mine. I stand on mine. I'm a man of my word. And the shit you just did, that shit don't fly. It don't fly right here. So I need to teach you a motherfucking lesson. I need to teach you another motherfucking lesson. Because evidently, you don't understand what the fuck I'm talking about. That motherfucker turned around and clocked Glenn. Woo! Baby. Cheers. Like, oh my god, I might be turned up down. I have watched so many reaction videos here on YouTube. Every time I have watched them, I have cried again. I'm trying. He hit Glenn. His eye socket was gone. It was blown. And he was like, Maggie, Maggie, I'm going to find you. I don't know what he mean by Maggie, I'm going to find you. Where the fuck are you going to find her at in the next life? I'm like, what the fuck? And Maggie crying and screaming and Rosita and Sasha. I forgot about Sasha. She was there too. She cried. Michonne, I don't know if anybody noticed. Michonne was the only one who, although was kneeled on, on her knees, was not kneeling down. The rest of them were almost like in a bow type of thing. They were really lost. She the only one that was still up on her knees and still like, okay, you know, she was still up. But everybody had that look of like, oh my fucking God. And so, Nigga was like, I know this got to be hard on you. I know. I understand. I know I understand. Baby, he took that back and said, oh wee, Lucille is thirsty. She must be like a vampire bat. I'm thinking you're thirsty, bitch. You're damn right. Oh my God, baby, he... Beat Glenn into non existence. And AMZ didn't turn the cameras. You watched him beat the fuck out of Abraham. And then you watched him beat the fuck and the cowboy shit out of Glenn, baby. My pressure couldn't take it. After that message, I, I text my daughter again. And I said, what the fuck? I am not watching this shit anymore. I am done with The Walking Dead. At this point, I was done. I was too through with it. She like, no, mama, you got to keep watching, keep watching. I don't even know if you can see that. She like, keep watching, grandma, keep watching. I'm like, I can't fucking keep watching. I can't see through my goddamn tears. You, you see my messages? 
I can't see through my tears. She like keep watching. Tissue. I was at this point. I was like, this is the first time. Like I love Denny Duquette on Grey's Anatomy, and I know Jeffrey Dean Morgan is not Denny Duquette, but no matter what show he played on, even when he played on The Good Wife, that's all I could see him as was Denny Duquette. Every movie he played in after that, he was still Denny Duquette in those movies. And I was so hurt when Denny Duquette died on Grey's Anatomy. This is the first time in my life that I said, thank God Denny Duquette was dead. Because the way that he is portraying Negan right now, fuck Negan. Oh my God. He's a character that I'm not sure if you're going to love to hate him or you just hate him right out. He just, ooh, he gangster. Baby, he gangster with his. He don't play no game. And it'd be so funny because he flips in and out. Oh my god, he reminds me of shit, he remind me of me sometimes. He'd be sitting there like, you know what I'm saying, homeboy, oh what the what's up? Like, what's going on? I will fuck you up. I mean like that quick. That's how quick he check. Oh my god. This is this season? This season about to be a mofo, baby. He killed he he killed Glenn. And he killed, and he was dragging Lucille, and Glenn's brain was just still hanging to it, hanging to it. Then they flipped back to the camp where current day Rick is in, out there on top of the roof now of the camper, um, and Negan is still trying to get him to bring that axe back into there. And while he's up there, then you see that Lucille go up against Rosita's head. Then you see it go up against Eugene's head. Everybody. And I was like, no! Is he fucking up the entire cast? He can't kill the entire cast. I don't think they showed Michonne. I don't think they showed Daryl. But I was like, no fucking way. And I'm like, fuck you, Kena. I'm not watching this no more. That's what I'm telling my daughter. And she's like, Ma, just keep watching. Just keep watching. And I'm like, no, I'm quitting this show forever. And so she had to tell me, look, oh no, mom, that was just him imagining it. And I'm like, you better have told me something because I was done forever, ever, like forever. <laughs> she thought I was playing, but she, no, I was done. Took me a, a while, six seasons to start watching it last summer. And then you're going to kill off people. You already lost Herschel. I didn't give up. I didn't give a damn. About uh, Rick's wife. Lori. I couldn't stand Lori anyway. But we lost some good people. To see Glenn. I knew once Abraham died. I thought that was it. They didn't tell us it was going to be two people. And I liked Abraham. Abraham was gangster. He was the military person. I loved Abraham. But I knew. I kind of. I figured it was going to be Abraham anyway. Just because of how season six was ending, he was always talking about he was ready to go, he was ready to die, he was giving up on everything. And then he like found some kind of love type of thing with Sasha. So I figured it was going to be Abraham, but baby, I, I wasn't ready for Glenn. In the book, does both of them die in the book? I wasn't ready. I was not ready. But thanks God, King had told me that all that bludgeoning that they, he kept doing when he hit everybody else, that was just him imagining it. Because I was going to be done. I was going to thought, I thought everybody was going to be dead. And it was going to start this over with a whole new cast. Jesus. Woo! So, yeah, they came back and um, they came back to the, the campground where everybody was at. And basically he was saying, you know what, um, this was to teach y'all a lesson. Rick still ain't learn. He gonna have to learn because he's still looking at me, you know, like what did he say that like I uh shit in his breakfast or something like that? <laughs> it was something crazy like that. And I was like, come on man, he's like really trying to break Rick. So the next thing he did is pull up call, put a turning on call on, made a little marking like they do when you go into surgery. Told Rick to cut Carl's arm off. Rick is like, nah, dog, just just take me. Just take me with you. And um, nigga said, no, it don't work like that, bro. It don't work like that. It's too late. This is the only option you have. Cut his fucking arm off. Michonne's like, we get it, dog. We get it. And that's when you really notice Michonne still ain't bent down on bending knees. She still up like. But she's like, come on, we get you, dog. We understand. You ain't got to do that. He's like, I know you understand. 
Boo, I got you. I know you understand. But Rick still ain't learned his lesson. Rick ain't learned it. And, um, uh, oh, Rick broke down then, baby. Rick was like, no, I can't do it. He was shaking and sniveling and, and, and called like, just do it, daddy. Just, just do it. Cause he's like, if he don't do it, everybody gonna die. He gonna kill everybody. And then not only is he gonna kill everybody there, he gonna go back to Alexandria, kill everybody there, and he gonna keep Rick alive for a few years just so he can think about the shit he done seen and now the people that he done lost because of his actions today. And then he gonna kill him too. Oh, so when he finally was like trying to muster up the strength, he mustered up the strength just to lift the axe. He still hadn't swung it, just to lift it. He's like, that's the look I want. I got you now, baby. We have achieved greatness today. We have done it. He just wanted to break them. He said, there's a new sheriff in town, Rick. New sheriff in town, baby. There's new rules. Your ass is mine. Your ass is mine. And if you don't do what I say do, I'm bring back Daryl to you one little bitty piece at a time. I can't imagine this going to happen because my boy Daryl ain't no motherfucking punk. And Dwight still got his damn bow and arrow. He going to fuck Dwight up over that bow and arrow. I know. I don't know when it's going to happen. It may not happen season seven. He going to fuck Dwight up. And, uh... And I hope, like Rick said he was going to kill Negan one day. I hope it ain't Rick. I hope Maggie, pregnant Maggie, who they was just trying to get to the doctor because she was sick. And then they took over all their lives at this moment trying to get her to the doctor. Pregnant Maggie, who done lost everything. She done lost her mama, her daddy, her sister, and now her husband. And ain't no telling if the damn baby gonna make it. Maggie done lost it all. Maggie like. Y'all gone back. Gone back without me. And Rick like, we can't leave you. We family. She's like, y'all gone back. Y'all need to go back and get ready. And he like, get ready for what? He say, she say, get ready to fight. Like we always do, duh. Get ready to fight. Rick like. Maggie, come on, like, we gonna, we gonna all do this with you. She's like, I'm finna take Glenn with me. I can make it on my own. You go back and prepare everybody. And Sasha was like, I'm gonna go with her. I'm gonna make sure that she stays safe. Cause Negan told him he got a week. In a week, they better have some collected some shit for him and bring it back to him. That's what Negan said. So they got a week to prepare. And, um, Sasha was like, she gonna, she gonna take Abraham's body. Um, I think they was going to Kingdom City, if I'm not mistaken. It was trying to get her and go to King so she can get her health care, the care that she needed. I cannot wait until they get to Kingdom City because Carl and Morgan. Carl, I know, don't want to fight no more. Morgan don't like to kill. But I think they could have changed their minds on this when they find out what happened. Especially to Glenn and to Abe. Oh, mm, yes. I think that they gonna they gonna act a motherfucking fool. And I know uh, Jesus. I think he's in. He's in Alexandria, or I don't remember where he's at. I don't know if he's in. I don't remember if he's in Alexandria, or if he's in Kingdom City. But Jesus, I'm quite sure he's gonna come and act a motherfucking fool. And it's this new person named Ezekiel. He got a damn tiger. He looked like he ain't got no damn sense either. So he might be a good match for uh, Megan. But then again, he might shit just be against Rick and them too. I don't know, cause like I said, I ain't read the book. But I guess, you know, it's, it's time for uh, Rick to come off of his throne a little bit. I guess, you know, every season they have ran into very unscrupulous people and they have managed to come out on top. This is the only time I've seen that it does not look like they finna come out on top anytime soon. Rick is completely broken. Broken. But I don't know if he more broken or I'm more broken. Because I didn't cry. I didn't cry through this speech. I have been crying since Sunday. Every My friend got up an obituary for Glenn on Facebook. Yo, like, it just, it, this really hit people hard. You don't understand. And like I said, that's what I seen first. Somebody posted up and I was so mad that I seen it. So I knew he was going. I just wasn't expecting it. That way that I was seeing it. And actually when it happened, I think I forgot that he was named. And I was like, oh shit, you know, Andrew. So Andrew was the one. So, But yeah, look at this. 
Look at this, y'all. If you can see that. Glenn's obituary. They got it posted to Facebook. And then it says, in lieu of flowers, the family asks that donations of literally anyone who can help them defeat Negan can be made in his memory. That's all they needed. That's all they need to know. And the person posted it said they don't even watch the show. But that's all they needed was you can help them defeat Negan. That's all the family wants. That's it. <laughs> all right, y'all. This is um my review of The Walking Dead Season 7, Episode 1. Like I said, I don't do reviews, but if it moves me, I'm going to talk about it. I watch a lot of TV shows. Not TV, but a lot of TV shows. And I go to the movies a whole lot. So if something moves me to talk about it, I may. Walking Dead may just be off that chain, off so much off the chain this year that I actually do a review every week. Oh, shit. Got a uh, message from my, my friend, um, my guy friend in Atlanta. He said nice stuff to me. Makes me smile. Anyway, I'm going to talk to him a little later. But, yeah.